da 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 Hell, if the people in PETA can do it, and you can do it in a New York subway, and a baseball cheerleading team, or whoever's fandangoing out there can do it, so can I. It is Stat Boy approved. Thank you. We're here at the Casa D18 Studios. We just got done with Monday Night Raw. And, uh... Sorry that I didn't film last week, but hey, you know, whatever, no big thing. I'm all, I'm here now. It's it's no biggie. I will always be here to rant like I always am. An interesting face pop while we play words with friends. Well, uh, for Brock Lesnar taking out the three MB. Uh, don't I don't think this is going to be a full on turn. It was just. Uh, Lesser of two evils, I guess, and, well, there you go. And now, we want part three, we're going extreme. Let's face it, Paul, you haven't been extreme since the mid-1990s. Even later than that, into the 2000s. You're not extreme, you're not hardcore, you're PG, you stopped a match due to blood. Please. Extreme hasn't been extreme forever in a day. What are you going to do? You, oh my gosh, a steel cage match. Oh wow, that is so brutal. I'm going to take my my niece and nephew and I'm, 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 you know what? They're not going to be able to watch that match because it's too violent. Oh my god. Triple H is going to take Brock Lesnar's head and he's going to slam it against the steel cage and Brock Lesnar is going to fall down. Wow, that's extreme. And 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 let's just let's not use a steel chair. Let's use a plastic folding chair because we want to make sure the WWE superstars are safe. In fact, let's take the kendo stick and let's tie it up with rubber bands so it's not as powerful as it should be. And let's see what else Oh, we'll throw him into the steel steps, shoulder first, of course, and we'll throw them over the guardrail. Oh, wait, it's a steel cage match, so how are they going to, let's see, hmm, and let's see, um, well, they can't drop off the top of the cage and do the Spanish announce table, because that gets done every chance you get, so let's see. That's a good idea! Let's bring the dark side into it! You could not have... Yes, let's force choke Brock Lesnar until he turns blue. That would be extreme. Hell, let's make lightsabers legal and let's cut off his hand. That would be extreme. Heck, let's use the force on somebody with a pair of brass knuckles with spikes on them so that when you punch him in the face, it gets embedded in his skull. That would be extreme. That, yes, well done, Darth Vader, making your entrance into my show. Thank you. <laughs> Using the dark side is definitely Stat Boy approved, <laughs> without a doubt. Okay? Like I said, let, let's put, if you remember, there was, between, it was Eddie and JBL, a barbed wire steel cage match. That would be extreme. Let's go to Japan with Mick Foley. How about we electrify the ring posts? How about that? How about we bring out a hundred thousand thumbtacks? How about that? Let's put some C4, non-lethal of course, because let's... You can't get many more extreme than dying. But let's blow up the ring. Let's make it look good, okay? My God, man, you trying to kill off the roster? I didn't say lethal. I didn't, I didn't say enough to kill him, just enough to scare him. However, that would be in bad taste. Thoughts and prayers go out to all the people in Boston at the end of the Boston Marathon. That was not cool. 
And I will admit, I did make a bad joke, but it was the first thing that popped into my head, and I thought that cheating had gone to a whole nother level. I do apologize for that, Lord, I apologize for that, and all that for the gay piggy that I'm getting. Amen. Amen. What is going on that people have to set off bombs at the Boston Massacre? Yeah, the Boston Massacre. The body of the Boston Massacre happened in, in the 1600s, so yeah, or the 1700s, or whatever. So that point, you need to do is history. The Boston Marathon. You know, where you run 26.2 miles and then you collapse at the end and you made it. What? Why Boston of all places? Is that because it becomes John Cena there? I don't know, but hey, but. I mean, it is very scary with what's going on with North Korea and the nuclear things and, and you know, so, you know, it's. It's just not right, okay? You know, a, a, a smart man once said, can't we all just get along? You know, do we have too to... Too soon. It, it's never too soon. Do we have to resort to blowing things up at big events to prove that we're a powerful person? No! There were Yankee fans. I just... No, that's too soon. <laughs> Go back to your words with friends, double A. Be quiet. I'm filming. Um, North, 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 I mean, if you remember the Chief-tastic Superman 4, the quest for peace, it was a good idea on paper, trying to rid the world of all nuclear missiles and throwing them into the sun. If that could be conceivable, we'd all not worry about uh, ending up like Missile Command. Circa 1980s, that boy approved. I played that game before. If you remember what happens when you lose a missile command, the whole screen goes kablooey! But if that doesn't work, then a giant asteroid is going to come in 2017 because, you know, whatever. I mean. And also, what's going on with all these celebrity superstar sports people getting injured? Kobe Bryant out with an Achilles tendon injury. Yeah, that's such a oh wow. Guess what? The Lakers still won their last game without Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Jared Weaver out with a broken elbow, out for six weeks. Luckily, it's on his left elbow and he is right-handed. Okay, so he can still throw the ball. He just can't catch the ball. But he should be like Jim Abbott, you know, he could switch hands or something. Who else was recently injured, just recently died? Uh, there was one more that just got injured that was a big name. Mm. Here's the thing with those guys, okay? Look at, look at the, look at Kurt Angle! How many times have you heard, I want a gold medal with a broken frickin' neck? I'm waiting for a meme to pop out. Stat Boy Challenge, I want to see a meme with... Kobe Bryant uh, or or Jared Weaver or something saying that they're injured and out and yeah there are there are plenty of meme generators out there I have one on my phone and and all that in fact I actually made a meme when when Brock Lesnar was all green and all that apparently there's a nasty rumor going out that the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne, is having issues with SHARON! <coughs> that's not true. Ozzy and Sharon are the Ken and Barbie of heavy metal. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, there's a rumor that they're splitting up and getting a divorce. That, I don't want that to happen. Even though Sharon seems to be the only one that can understand Ozzy. Jack is sick. Kelly's sick. The dog would die. One of the dogs died, but that was a few years ago. So, I hope you guys can... They, they, did, they did squash everything. They said, no, we're not doing this and all that. And what's up with the Kardashians? Oh, my God. Uh, Kim is taking pictures of, uh, I don't know, the, the, the youngest uh, Kardashian... The, which one is that? Chloe, Courtney, it's another one of those K girls. 
I can't think of her. Chloe! No, not Chloe. Chloe's the fat one. Well, she was, wasn't she? Chloe's the one that married Odo. Okay, that's not that. Who's the, who's the other? Kim. No, not Kim. It's Kim, Chloe, Courtney, and... Cum sucker, I don't know. Ooh, too soon. Chloe, I do apologize for calling you fat. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that one. I'm going to eat that one, yeah. But anyway, she's 17 years old, and apparently she looks hot in a bikini with an ass. Oh, really? Ooh. <laughs> and apparently, Kim took a... I think it's Kendra. No, not Kendra. Anyway, if you know who I'm talking about, why are you shooting your 17-year-old sister's ass? That could be considered child porn. You can get in a lot of trouble for that. Oh, but because you're a celebrity, like Lindsay Lohan, who has to go to rehab for three months, oh, I'm going to get away with murder. You're not okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got over here. Look at this. this is, come on. We have a prop. Shameless plug for the king. There you go. Go Kings go. There you go. They will get in the playoffs. I guarantee it. The Ducks and the Blackhawks are already in. Woo! <coughs> now, hey. here's the... Yes. Now, the big question, who do I want more? Ducks versus Kings? Or Ducks versus Blackhawks? Or Kings versus Blackhawks? Honestly, right now, I really don't care. Because they're all good teams. It's that simple. The playoffs are upon us. And they will be here before you know it. Let's see, what else? What else is going on in the world today? Let's take a quick look. While, let's see what's trending. WWE, why do you guys, when you're on Twitter, you, you always trend what's not trending? We look it up here at the Casa D18 studio, okay? You put down that WrestleMania is trending. It's not. You put Kofi. Oh, Kofi Kingston, congratulations. U.S. title, third one. Good for you. Very good indeed, yes. Oh, what else? What else? Let's see what's trending. Uh, hmm. Let's see. It is a deadly terror trap. What a shame. <coughs> JC, what is this? JC Penny. JC, uh, it's amazing what you'll find online. Let's see what this one says. This is this is. Uh, JC Penny draws eight hundred and fifty million dollars from credit facility. That's why I shop at Sears. <laughs> There is a show on ABC called Bet on Your Baby. It's a new game show. I have said that ABC needs a game show. Well, they got one. Apparently, the concept is parents take their children and they put a wager on what the child's going to do. And the promo they show is there's a child in a little playroom and he's got Oreo cookies. And he stacks them up, and apparently he has to stack up um, so many cookies. And if he does it, the parents win money. Okay, yeah, that's a game show that's just... Yeah, wh where's the uh, parent council on that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm not too sure about that one. Let's see, what else is going on here? Oh, well, that's pretty much it, folks. Not much else is going on in the world today. So, oh, CM Punk, why did you walk out on Raw? I mean, okay, you lost to The Undertaker. Move on! Don't walk out and quit! I mean, are you sick? Uh, is it a humbling experience? Of course it is. 
It's an honor to lose to The Undertaker. If I was a wrestler, I would have... I, if, and if nobody... I'll lose to The Undertaker. I don't care. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Over at NBC, here's something that's coming up. Jay Leno is retiring. <laughs> Apparently Double A didn't know this. Yes, Jay Leno is retiring from The Tonight Show. Again. Yes. Jimmy Fallon is taking over. Big mistake, NBC. Somebody can hear me so I can hear myself now. And they're shipping the show back to New York. Why is New York better than Los Angeles? Is it because you have the Yankees and you have Times Square and you have the Statue of Liberty and you have the New York Stock Exchange and the, and you have the Mets and you have a subway? We got all that stuff. We've got a skyline. We've got a subway. We've got two good teams. We've got a better. What is it because you have Donald Trump? Another. Tell me, Stepboy fans of the world, why is New York always better than Los Angeles? Why? We got the Rockets. Fuck the Rockets. We got the Pantages Theater. We got the El Capitan. They, they get the big skin free. Double A, go to bed. Uh, Hell, you slept with doing my last show. What's what's stopping you now? Anywho, follow me at on Twitter at lbstatkid1977. Follow me on Facebook at the Stat Boy Rants page. Send me some topics to rant about, and I will see you all next time. As I always say. I want to. I'm going to say something else. I'm going to say, keep calm and do a Hadouken. Stat boy out. <laughs>